Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday, 24th day of November, 6th day of Kislev. Here we go. We're continuing on in our laws about shoes. And uh, there are Jewish laws about shoes. Here we go. On Yom Kippur, you know you're not supposed to wear leather shoes. And when a child reaches a certain age that he's educatable about these matters, then that child should not be able to wear leather shoes anymore. So when is he considered at that age? It's approximately seven or eight. When a child reaches that age, he should be expected to be trained to not wear leather shoes on Yom Kippur. Very young kids, like two or three, they can wear leather shoes on Yom Kippur, no problem. Um, if you want to wear leather slippers, uh, non-leather slippers, I mean, so that's totally okay. You can wear them outside also, but if they're loose, could fall off and you're outside of an Arab, you know what that problem that's going to lead to. The problem of maybe they're going to fall off and you're going to carry them on Yom Kippur, which is a problem. So don't wear loose um, slippers outside on Yom Kippur where there's no Arab. Um, our non-leathery shoes are very, very comfortable today. Uh, a lot of you know that. You don't have to feel any guilt. You are allowed to wear non-leather shoes, even though they're very comfortable. You don't have to feel guilty about it. There were gedolim, like the chazonish and the stipler gone. They wore uh, socks on Yom Kippur all day. They just didn't want to be in shoes, even if they were non-leather. So there, there is such an attitude if you would want to follow that, but you don't have to. Technically, anyone who's uh, sick, or a lady who has just given birth, those kinds of people could wear leather shoes if they need to for their sickness or because they're pregnant or something like that. But those kinds of people really nowadays can be expected to wear non-leather shoes. And that's because our non-leather shoes of today are very, very comfortable. And so anybody usually should be able to manage to wear them. Um, the Halichos Shlomo was of the opinion that there's a Maris Ayan problem. I'll explain what that means when you're wearing shoes that are uh, non-leather, but they look leather. You know, cheap, cheap dress shoes that you bought for 15 bucks and they look like they're dress shoes. So people like the Halichos Shlomo said that we should worry about the Maris Ayan and what that looks like and not wear them on Yom Kippur. If you're washing your hands for having touched your shoes on Yom Kippur, you just wash the parts of your hand that touch the shoes because you're not supposed to just freely wash your hands, so don't do that. People who wear Crocs always, those people who wear Crocs always, you know, it's fine if they wear their Crocs on Yom Kippur. Also, according to most rabbis, some say that it's because it's what you always regularly wear that it's a bit of a problem, but most are lenient and they say, you enjoy your Crocs, you wear them a lot, you can wear them on Yom Kippur too because they're not leather. That's what most rabbis say. Thanks for logging on. Have a great Shabbos and log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.